Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan from New Leaf Data, and today on FileMaker Inventory Resources, we're going to take a look at receiving things other than a purchase order. In a previous video I've talked about how to receive a purchase order and there's a file available on filemakerinventoryresources.com. There's a demo file. This is that same demo file, uh, slightly modified. And so what we have here is we have an order type. I've added an order type and you can see that we're able to receive something other than a purchase order. Why would we want to receive something other than a purchase order? You might want to receive uh, a loan order. This would be something that if a, if a loan has been rented out and now it's come back, how do, you, how do you get that back into stock in the database? Another option is a transfer order. Now, not every transfer needs to go through a, a receipt process. A lot of it depends on how it's being transferred. If it's an internal transfer or an ex internal transfer or an external transfer, and I, I write about that in FileMaker Inventory Resources. For this kind of transfer, this presumes that there was something within the organization, but at another warehouse, and that had to go, at the other warehouse it had to go through the pick, pack, and ship process, and now it has arrived at this warehouse and now it has to go through the receiving and the put away. And so we could do that here with the transfer. Finally, you could have a sales order come back and this could be a return. Now, it doesn't have to be a sales order. It could be an invoice if you're doing your financials in FileMaker or it could be part of a, a, a pick list or a ship list. So here, so you have several options. It's gonna depend on, on what your setup is. For here, we'll do a sales order. So I'll run through these, and for the purchase order, we've done this already. I could do the purchase order type, and then the order number is going to take a look at all the available purchase orders. Let me skip sales order for the moment, and I could go over to the loan order. Again, this would be this would be packages or or items that we have rented out so they're on loan and then the people have brought them back. So here you see we have a different set of orders that we can populate the receipt lines with. And the same is true with a transfer. Sales order is a little different. Again this could be an invoice, this could be this could be a pick list, this could be a ship list, but for here, the sales order, this is a return order. And on the return order, it's a little different than the other orders. The other orders go through a process where they are expected to be re received. But the, a sales order is not expected to be received. In fact, you don't want it to be received. But there are times when somebody will return a product to your organization. And so instead of having a drop-down list with all the available sales orders, because hopefully there would be a lot, we just have an empty sales order. And then you would have to type in, type in your number, something like that. That's it. I'll take you real quickly under the hood. Under the hood, to do that, I'm simply using a slide control. and a couple of triggers that you could see here. I'll keep the video short. You can pull this demo file off of filemakerinventoryresources.com. It's completely open. Take a look at it, reverse engineer it. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment down below. If you like the video, please like it somewhere down below. And remember to subscribe, it really helps. And we'll have more videos on the way. Thanks a lot.